All right, this is my 1986 Chevy K10 with an 89 um, block, and then everything else is from the 86. Um, I bought this truck uh, almost a year now, and uh, a year from now, and I bought it from my grandparents' field. It was my grandpa's cousin's truck. Um, he kind of just dropped it off there because they couldn't figure out why it wasn't running right. It kind of sounded like it had a little bit of a miss. But um, I, I played it on this truck as a jungle gym ever since I was a little kid. So it's kind of like a dream of mine to get this truck. So um, I ended up picking it up last year. Um, all that was really wrong with it from keeping it from running was the... PCV valve was unplugged and I guess they just didn't realize it or because it ran like crap it would start but it ran like crap so um but after that I just started doing small stuff spark plugs oil change coolant change um replace the oil sensor because it, that wasn't working on the oil pressure gauge put a new um filter on it did new valve um cover seals bought a new battery the battery from the field actually lasted me four months without a charge and then i had to replace it um i got a new alternator this alternator's fine but it started to squeak a couple months back while i was just letting it run before i had it licensed and once i started driving it around it's fine now so i got a new alternator on deck whenever i need it but um, I did an AC delete, so I had more room just to work on it, and um, it kind of sucks without AC, but it's not that bad. Um, I put a grill on it, put a new billet grill on it from LMC, uh, all new lights all around and sockets, um, even marker lights. Um, I am just bought new Dick Sepik 33s for it, so those are coming in Thursday. I got my shake and bake sticker over there. Um, Replace that light also. The lights in the back too. Um, interior's decent. Um, I'm trying to find a guy right now to do floor pans and rockers because that patch right there is terrible. There's a hole in the middle that's gone. And then my rockers are obviously gone because that's the first thing that goes on these trucks. And then I'm just gonna weld in a patch there for cab corner i'm gonna end up buying new doors because we got that on this door um and then we also have some rust starting right there and just you know small stuff that i might just want a new door for um but on the other side I was actually almost broken into it looks like so i'll show you that really quick but you can see where they put a crowbar into it and all that right here so i won't be able to fix that so this door has to go i can't put a lock in this either because they jammed this unless i like weld a washer or something like that but this door closes and opens really good because of that this is also dented right here i think i can fix this though this isn't that big of a deal um but yeah i didn't do much to the interior i just put a blanket down for the bottom because the bottom was pretty tore up but i need new floor pan on this side also and new rockers um but yeah i put a new window motor in on that side um and you get some new trim i just need to redo the whole interior but for now i'm just doing small stuff that it needs until i get a well-paying job um i'm 15 right now so it's kind of hard for me to get a good chunk of money easy so but um yeah so that i mean like that's the truck we call it bert um i'm hoping to start doing some performance mods eventually it actually needs new valve seats on the heads so whenever i pull the heads i'm gonna do some other stuff like new new everything in the heads pretty much i'm just gonna rebuild the heads in general so that might add a little bit more power i'm gonna get long tube headers um, for now, I've got glass packs and I hollowed out the cats for the exhaust. 
and then it just dumps out right there. Right now, I'm actually, I pulled it in because I'm coating the frame. I coated one side. I just have to coat the other side. Actually, yeah, this isn't, I coated the back side. You can't see it over here, but um, I'm coating some of that stuff. Um, I coated the shocks because I, it just kind of looks like crap because they're so rusted out. And I'm gonna get new shocks anyways in the next couple months, so that won't be that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna do the leaves just to make those look a little bit cleaner. And then I'm gonna do the frame rails all the way up and then up there. I don't know what I'm gonna do because there's so much, so many leaks that I don't really know how I'm gonna do it. But I'll probably just clean it up, get new seals as I need them and yeah. But yeah, I mean like that's really the truck. I haven't done much to it. Um, the maintenance that I did, I put a new fuel filter on. I bought a new PCV valve because I didn't think the old one worked, but the old one actually worked. Um, put air filter on, put all new plugs, um, yeah, plugs and wires, did an oil change, coolant change. Um, I think that's it. I did some cleaning just because the whole manifold was black whenever I got it. Um, I think I'm gonna need to do a new seal for the oil galleys and everything soon because you can see some leaks if you look really close. But yeah, this is just, this is my first truck. I'm gonna do things slowly as I go. And uh, we're gonna hopefully do it the right way. My plans for the truck is to, right now, um, I use it as a farm truck most of the time and I keep telling myself, I'm like, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Cause once I paint it, I'm not going to use it like that. But, um, the more I thought about it, my cousin just finished his 89 Bronco and he, um, actually bedlined the whole truck, which you don't see too often from where I'm from. Like most of the time you just see restored trucks or they're complete pieces of crap. But, um, so the more I thought about it, I think I'm gonna do something like he did. He did just a black strip all the way down um, just to save the bottom after the bodywork, of course. He painted it black all the way down on the bottom strip. And then the rest of it, he did a green, an army green, which is pretty cool. I didn't know how it was gonna turn out because some people do it really crappy and some people do it really good, but he did it very, very clean. And then he blacked out his mirrors, blacked out his door handles and stuff like that. So I think I might honestly copy him a little bit because I kind of like his style. And I think I'm going to do a black strip all the way down. And then I'm going to possibly do a burnt maroon maybe in bed lined. So then I can use it as a farm truck, but it'll still look good and just be able to be a workhorse still. Um, for the motor after, depending on what happens to this motor, I don't, knowing the way that I drive, I don't think it's going to last for too long after I daily it. But, um, for now, um, I'm just going to do small mods to it. Like I said, it needs new valve seats. So I'm going to restore the, not restore, but build the heads. And then, but depending on the way it runs, depending if it blows up, if it blows up, I'm going to put a 6.0 LS in it and kind of make this more into a drag truck than anything. But, um, and then do a five speed manual swap, of course. But if it doesn't blow up, I'll probably end up converting it to a 383 stroker. Um, just, I don't know why, I just kind of like them. And uh, yeah, um, hopefully soon I'm gonna do disc brakes all the way around because my uncle did that on his um, 1973 come and swapped square body and i just really like his truck stops really fast so i kind of want to do something like that um for the interior i'm not completely sure yet because i don't know if i want to completely restore it or if i want to do kind of what lmc's got where it kind of becomes modernized you know um but for now i just want to do the floor pans rockers and then just put a rubber um I don't even know what you call it. I guess a rubber floor carpet. I don't know. Um, kind of for just because I use it to work so much. And then new dash pad. Um, hopefully soon new seat. 
I don't know if I'm going to do buckets yet or not. It depends on how long I wait. If I wait for a couple more months, I'll probably just get another bench seat. But if I wait for like another year, I'll definitely probably do buckets with my own custom center console. Um, I would like to put a 12 in this, a 12 inch sub, but I just don't know how that's going to work out considering it's a single cab. Um, if I build my own center console, I'll have room, but yeah, we're going to need new dash pad, new um, trim right there, new door panels, definitely new seat, uh, new carpet, possibly new doors. Um, I just replaced this window motor with a new window switch, so that's all good. Um, but yeah, um, I that's about all really I have planned for the truck right now. Um, it's going to need some pretty good body work this fender is decent there's this dent right here but i th that won't be too hard to pull out i don't i think we got this rust spot on the door this fender is actually very clean down here which i'm extremely surprised about it's not chipping or anything but this fender is pretty clean new rockers like i said um weld in the cab corner new doors most likely because of the i just i don't know about this and uh, the hole cut in. I just I don't want to deal with it. I just want to get new doors. Um, and if I do do the bed liner, I'll black these out, black the mirrors out. Um, I got the toolbox for free, which was kind of cool. Um, this truck's got dual gas tanks. I might need to buy a new bed just because I got some random spots like that, which this is about to poke through. Um, but like, there's just some stuff missing. Like there's a hanger here that's missing that I would need to get if I kept the bed. Um, if we go around outside, there's not enough room to <laughs> walk around in here. There's the old Harley. Um, we got spots like this on both sides. We've got that dent right there, which I just don't know how you can pull that out really. Um, I got this, which you just can't pull that out. And then we've also got that and just small dents all the way down the side. But so that's almost likely get a new bed for this truck. The inside is pretty clean though, for what it is. Um, the truck was used to haul a dual axle trailer all its life, pretty much. Um, original numbers for this truck, it originally had a 305 in it that blew up obviously because i don't know if you can see it but where the yeah you can't see it where the tire is there's a welded in fifth wheel hitch so yeah <laughs> and then this is a k10 so keep that in mind that they're not really supposed to do that kind of thing uh, but yeah if i do a lift on this truck that's another thing people were asking me about I'll probably do a four inch leveling kit just because I don't want it to be too crazy high, but I'm still gonna put bars on it most likely just to protect the paint a little bit more whenever I'm at the farm working and stuff like that. Um, window tint is a must. I'm gonna have to get window tint soon. Um, I just need to know what I'm doing with the doors before I do that. Cause if I get rid of the doors, I'm definitely gonna get new glass, new glass, new all components really. Um, but yeah, I mean like it's a decent interior. The bottom is just terrible but it's a decent interior other than that um this truck was pretty loaded back then it had automatic four-wheel drive it had 305 ac heat um it had carpet headliner nice a really nice seat back in the day um electric windows um the nicer steering wheel that you could get um what else the two-tone paint the double gas tanks the long bed like it was just a, it was a loaded truck back then so um i mean like that's about it i think i know i keep saying that's about it and then i find more stuff but that's about all i'm really doing right now but for now the next couple months i just want to focus on body work because i really want to get this thing looking nice before i start dailying it because my dailies over there if I don't finish um, the body work and reliability on this. So once I get the paint done, I'm obviously doing body work first. Keep that in mind, body work, then paint. Um, and then I'll probably end up 
making sure the motor's reliable and all that. Um, do the valve seats, do some other stuff, probably long tube headers. And then after that, make sure the wiring's good, go through that, go through the braking system and then come to the interior. And then hopefully by then it'll almost be done. So, but that's, I'm, that's about it. I think, <sighs> yeah, this is my K10. I really like it. I was actually a Ford guy before I was introduced into K10s. Um, I really liked the OBS F-150s and this truck lines up to one very, very well. My buddy actually has an OBS Bronco and we take pictures with him all the time. And I'm very happy with this truck, so. Um, new tires coming in Thursday. Um, my goal for this week is to paint the whole frame, hopefully, because I really got to get that done. That's another thing about this bed. The rails on the bed are just completely rusted out. I don't know if you can see that. That one's actually pretty good, but the ones down there are just terrible. Um, the frame is decent. I, that's what kind of why I want to get a coating on it really quick because um, I just want to make sure everything is going to be perfect and I won't have to deal with it for another 10 to 15 years. Um, I got to take this um, lining out so I can get to the frame. Got to get new leaf springs in the front. It's pretty casual on these trucks though. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty solid um, project truck. I just don't really have the money to do all of it right now, so... Well, yeah, I think that's about it. If you guys liked this video or you have any questions about the K10 or really anything, if you have questions about the Harley, the four-wheeler, um, let me know and I'll get back to you. Or you guys could just DM me on Instagram because everyone from here probably follows me on Instagram. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video of the truck. I made that one introducing it but i didn't really like get into it like i did the four-wheeler video my first four-wheeler video so i kind of wanted to do the same thing but just with the truck so yeah if you guys like the video um please like please subscribe um show to your buddies if you got buddies that like obs trucks like me and my guys do or if you guys like square bodies like me and my guys do um but yeah always be proud of what you're working on and what you make it into because in your head you can let everyone call a piece of crap and let everyone call the beater but in my head this truck is it's me it's everything that i'm trying to work on so just always keep that in mind everyone can talk crap but at the end of the day you're the one working on it you're the one putting money into it and you're the one making it your style so but yeah now i'm done with my rant so I will see you guys later.